everyone. Good day to you. I'm coming to you from my car to bring you another video. I'm in my uh, pre-preparation phase of getting ready for my, my upcoming through hike of the River to River Trail in Southern Illinois. Last year, 2021, went down to section hike the River to River Trail. Uh, during my time there, I stayed in a in a tent, a little one-person tent, with a sleeping pad and a sleeping bag. Uh, but I'm attempting something new this time. Coming around for my through hike, I'm going to uh, bring in a hammock camp setup instead of a tent. So the purpose of today's video is to determine the type of insulation I want to bring for my hammock, and I got two two options. I got the climate insulated static V sleeping pad and the other option a wise owl under quilt for my uh, grand trunk hammock today we are going to a nature preserve try to uh, set up the hammock and figure out which insulation option I prefer best now, there's a couple key factors I'm looking for specifically I'm looking to find a way to have insulation and conserving pack weight and I'm also looking for uh, quality of comfort I want to be comfortable I want to be warm but at the same time I'm not trying to pack a whole lot of weight since I do need to keep my base weight down and not have not calculated food and water just yet so yeah, thank you for tagging along with me today. Let's get out there, let's set up this hammock. Let's check it out, sleeping pad versus under quilt. What do you think is the better insulation option? Matter of fact, how do you camp? Do you tent camp or do you hammock camp? Comment below, let me know. And if you are a hammock camper, do you prefer a sleeping pad in your hammock? Or do you prefer an underquilt? What kind of sleeping pad do you use if you use a sleeping pad? Or what kind of underquilt do you use? Thank you again for supporting my channel and checking out my videos. And if you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I very much enjoy the outdoors and, and getting out, hiking. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get out there. So the first one we're going to test out is the Climate 
insulated static V sleeping pad. And I brought a little friend to help me pump this up. My, little, my new flex tail pump. So let's get this started, shall we? Got the first one in here, the climate insulated static V pad. With the pump, it took about a minute 30, minute 35 to get this fully inflated, and then I gave it a couple of puffs afterwards just to top it off. Uh, got the hammock all set up here. Uh, from what I've learned, it's important to have your foot end higher than your head end. So maybe I'll drop this down one more. There we go. Let's give it the good old college tryout. One thing I'm still trying to get used to, they say you want to lay sideways so that you're more flat. So something like something like what I got going on here. And it is it is comfy, I will say that. It is more comfortable than sleeping like a banana, that's for sure. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock out for a sec here test this out. Be right back. I do feel warmth underneath my body. So I think it's the sleeping pad doing its work, ignoring the fact that it's, you know, middle of summer and warm out. Um, this is a lot more comfortable than a tent and a sleeping pad. Uh, another pro by packing the sleeping pad as opposed to the under quilt. And I'm saving a lot of room in my pack because the sleeping pad folds down pretty small and my under quilt is like the size of a full size sleeping bag so and that's in its stuff sack. For the pad let's try out the uh, under quilt. So, got the under quilt on. I uh, flipped around to the other side, so my feet are on the opposite side now than my head. Uh, mainly because the sun is glaring in my face, uh, but also because I wanted a fresher perspective, uh, just to kind of feel it out a little bit more. So, I'll check back with you in a minute.
Okay, so first thoughts on the under quilt. I know you're supposed to have a bit of a gap between the hammock and the actual under quilt. There needs to be airflow. Um, there's a little bit of airflow. But this thing is very warm. Uh, I know it's in the middle of summer, so it's warm out already. But like I'm starting to sweat. It's pretty. It's pretty warm. It's it's cozy though. So no issues with comfort for either of them. Uh, for warmth, they're both warm. But this one is like snug in a bug warm you know it is a whole lot more simpler to put together the to put the under quilt on than it is to put the sleeping pad together i mean it takes hardly any time at all to put that sleeping pad in here but then that's also time that i have to calculate during my through hike blowing it up and then in the morning deflating it packing it up which I mean, I guess it's I guess it's gonna take about the same amount of time for both the under quilt and the pad, really. Um, so I shouldn't be too critical on something that petty. But, uh, definitely a tough choice. Tough choice. Oh boy. No. Oh no. Oh no. I got bad head. No. Try to fix this as much as I can. Okay. So I recently purchased a bug net. Last year when I went down to section hike the river river, I didn't have any issues with bugs. Absolutely none. No mosquitoes, no ticks, because uh, we're talking mid-October. But I still went ahead and I purchased this uh, Eno Guardian bug net. Let's put this on. So this is really nice. I like this. Super easy to set up. Unfortunately there's only one door. This is nice though. A little bug net. Pretty good investment I think. Now, I'm going to take a moment, compile my thoughts, have a little breakfast. All right, so going over the pros and cons. In this hand, I have the Climate Insulated Static V Inflatable Sleeping Pad. Um, it's comfortably warm. I would rate this equal to sleeping on a pillow top mattress when it's in the hammock. Very comfortable. Um, it does take about close to two minutes to inflate. It takes about close to two minutes to deflate and pack away. I do like how compact it is compared to the underquilt. This would definitely save on weight and it would save on space in my pack. On the other hand, we have the Wise Owl underquilt. This is really easy to set up on the hammock. <clears throat> also very comfortable. This does take up a bit of space in the pack, though. Uh, 
It's almost like a full-size sleeping bag. And I brought it with me today, but I didn't set it up. But this is my sleeping bag. So, trying to save on weight. Don't want to pack a full bag, but a little bag. And this, I think, paired with the Static V is nice as far as pack savings. Another thing I noticed, I noticed as I was putting it away that it was wet. In the short amount of time that I was in the hammock, it did develop condensation. So there's that. What do you guys think? I think I know where I'm sitting right now. As I'm, I'm, I think I'm convinced that I'm going to be taking this for many simple reasons. And it doesn't lie. It doesn't lie. Because of the V chambers in the pad itself, um, there's enough airflow. I think going between the hammock to prevent condensation. Well, I think that just about does it for today's video. Uh, thank you for joining along with me. I always have uh, have fun shooting these type of things, going outside and doing you know hiker things like setting up a hammock and taking a power nap. And we'll do this again. I'll catch you on the next one. So until then. Take care. Good morning, sunshine.